Well, good evening everyone and welcome to a new vlog, a different type of vlog for us as well. It's a first time for us that we are off to watch CD Tenerife play in Santa Cruz. It's a big game tonight, it's a derby first leg of their playoffs. They're hoping to get into La Liga, fingers crossed. This is leg one, then they will go and play away at Gran Canaria. We've just about got last minute tickets down in the shop outside Laguna Park 1 uh, over in Fania Bay area. Great shop, um, fully official, not uh, a tout proper official shop uh, where you can buy them from. We paid 50 euros each. Uh, we're going to be all together because we are also going with the incredible Wilsons as well. It's going to be great taking Seb, who's a massive into football. Uh, as you've probably seen on the channel already, he has got a little Tenerife kit and everything. So uh, that's where we're off to. We're going to show you the whole journey, where's best to park. I did get a few tips from the man in the shop uh, about where to park for the game. Uh, show you the atmosphere. Let's hope we get a little bit of a win. It'd be great to see them back in La Liga. I think if they did, we would be up there a bit more often uh, for the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, etc. But let's got, not get too far, uh, far ahead of ourselves. Let's see how we get on tonight. And I uh, hope you enjoy something a little bit different. Let's uh, stride on. Okay, so fast forward about 35 minutes and we're here at McDonald's. We've just pulled over off the side of the motorway. Uh, on the way, we're going to have a little bit of a bite to eat as it is quite last minute this uh, trip. Uh, we're going to have a quick McDonald's with the Wilsons and then we'll carry on. As you can see, it is slightly raining as well. Our tickets are outside tickets as well, so let's hope it doesn't rain. But yeah, we're just going to have a bite to eat and then we'll head in. Uh, get parked up, suss out the uh, the atmosphere where everything is, find our way, get ourselves parked. And, uh, hopefully, this set weather will hold off. So I have gone for the McSpicy, and I've got to say it's absolutely delicious. The first time I've had it, slightly spicy chicken burger. I uh, do like that. I could have a few more of them, that's for sure. Okay, so we've just parked up. We've got Gaz and Seb here as well. Seb's dressed in the right colours. Forgot his Tenerife kit this oh, time, shame. but and uh, Christy just popped into the chemist. But we've got a very lucky space right outside. Uh, the car park we were going to go to was full to capacity. Yeah. Very lucky. Stadium's just up here. Atmosphere's building. I can hear plenty of noise going on. You ready for this, Seb? Yeah. You can hear the yeah, you can hear it going on. I'm excited for this now. What do you think, Laura? Ready for this? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's good atmosphere down here. I've got to say, it's really building here. It's a good atmosphere going on. So we just got in through the stadium, we're not allowed any drinks, we have to be in a couple of drinks. We're just trying to find our section now to go in. So to make sure we got maximum action, I did pick seats right next to the away fans as well, which should be fun. It's uh, pretty feisty. So we're all settled in our seats. It was a bit tricky finding the seats. It was hard. There's not really any stewards to help you. We got them in the end. Good atmosphere so far. The yeah, Grand Canaria fans are going for it over there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like you said, it's going to be a feisty one, isn't it? It's going to be feisty, but you know, Seb won't know any other language, so it's fine. <laughs> Good 
seats as well, right on the halfway line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, high up, but it's not got the view of Good view from here. So good so far. Uh, drinks pretty pretty decent price as well for drinks. All good so far. I will give you a full rundown after the game. It is tricky to talk at the moment, but all good so far. Enjoying it. Good fun. Really good atmosphere. What do you think then, Laura? If you could have this every week, you would. Yeah, you have a nice atmosphere this to get to. We did get very very lucky with the parking. Especially for free, very lucky. Enjoying it, Seb? Yeah?
well. What a great game. 1 0, finished result. We did get it, get, well, we got a bit of the second half. We did uh, escape a few on the second half there. But uh, no, great game. Loved the atmosphere, loved it. Uh, when we get back, when it's quiet, I'll run through a lot more of uh, a few little tips and things if you are going to come. That was great. We take a 1 0 lead uh, away to Gran Canaria now. Yeah, good game. Good game. Good atmosphere. They kept the atmosphere going the whole 90 odd minutes. The whole game. But uh, yeah, once we, uh, once we get back out of the madness, I'll give you a bit of a rundown and we'll sit in the quiet for now. It's, uh, it's party time out here. Okay, so we are now back from the game. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it took us about 50 odd minutes to get home. Mainly just a little bit of traffic in Santa Cruz, wasn't there? Coming out of the parking. And um, then it was just straight down the motorway, really easy. It was difficult to vlog in terms of the, because it was a constant atmosphere, it was hard to sort of sit and talk to you guys. Uh, but I definitely recommend going. Uh, felt really safe in the stadium, even though there was a good atmosphere going. I didn't feel like any trouble was gonna kick off. If it did, there was police everywhere. Uh, also to note they weren't serving any alcohol in the stadium Which I quite liked yeah, yeah, even though it was an evening game No alcohol in the stadium They just sold soft drinks At a good price by the way I thought Yeah uh, It wasn't expensive uh, But no, really good atmosphere Getting into the seats was a little bit tricky There's no stewards inside the ground to sort of help direct you if you've not been before So we did take about 10 minutes or so to find <laughs> our seats Back and forth, up and yeah, down Yeah, it was counting. a little bit, little bit tricky to find the seats on the ticket because um, there was no one there to sort of guide you or, you know, like when I go to the Everton game at home, we just show them the ticket and they go, oh yeah, you're just over there. There was none of that. But we got the seats in the end, which again were nice and comfy and roomy as well. Yeah, couldn't complain with their seat, man. It was a really good view as well because the stadium's not that big. Every seat you sit in's a good seat. Yeah, there's no restricted views or anything. Wherever you were sat, you were quite close to the pitch and the atmosphere was good. With great view on that halfway line. Uh, we paid 50 euros each for tonight. Um, and then if you wanted to sit in the stand opposite that you would have seen in the distance on the footage, that one's under a cover and that one it was 65 a ticket tonight. I think the prices do vary on A, what time you're buying them, and B, what section you're going, you're going to go in, what sort of game it is. You know, it was high demand tonight. We bought those tickets from an official retailer in um, Costa Radecki, just outside the Guna Park 1, as I mentioned. They are an official retailer, they're not a tout. He prints the tickets there and then he shows you on the computer where you can sit, what prices they are. Uh, he did speak English as well, so I definitely recommend going and seeing him if you're in the south, uh, right outside Laguna Park 1 reception. If you're looking for that shop, just put in Google Lag Laguna Park 1 Hotel and it's the shop literally right next to it. Uh, I thought that service was really good. Parking, we struck super, super lucky with that space. It was right outside the ground. It was free as well. I would have happily paid 20 odd quid for that space. Yeah. We got very, very lucky. The car parks we were going to go to were full at the time, but I will still leave the link in the description for that car park that the man in the shop recommended because I think on a normal game or if you didn't get there quite as late as we did, we got an hour before kickoff, which was a bit late really, um, you probably would have got a space fine. Yeah. Was a little bit busy coming out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else because it was hard to talk at the time. Um, it was a, generally a good match. We played better first half, they played a bit better second half. I think they've done better both halves. Overall, I think they do have a, their, their team was a little bit more edgier than ours. They seem to be a little bit fitter, in my opinion, as well. But um, football's football, you can yeah. win anyway. So let's yeah. hope we go away now, uh, win that second leg, and then we'll be in the playoff final. Love them to get to La Liga. I'd do a lot more trips to go and see the likes of. Uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, good luck getting tickets, mind. Uh, but, you know, some of those other bigger games. Yeah. But now I know where it is. I thought it was a little bit further away than it is. Literally 50 minutes to get there. And it was really easy to get to as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, not hard to find. There was loads of little shops and bars and restaurants around it as well. We didn't get quite a chance to show you that because the minute we got there, we were straight in. Straight in, yeah. Any other observations? No, plenty of police around, ready to go if anything was going to yeah. happen. But nothing did happen, everyone just left the, left the stage and nice and calmly and everyone would just have a nice yeah. general time of it. So yeah, I'd definitely go and definitely family friendly as well. 
Yep, Seb loved it. I quite like looking in the distance, the view of people watching down from the buildings. Yeah on the rooftops and stuff. Everyone genuinely just had a good time, real good passion in there. They did have that section of supporters that it must be a real die-hard supporter they section. They were blue and white foreheads, it translated to. Oh, it's blue and white foreheads. Yeah. They had their own section of stewards and looking all, after I them. thought the first two protesters because they were coming away from the stadium and you were all wearing black. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, what are these protests? And it wasn't, it was this one group of people who are very obviously had this one space in the match. Yeah. That was theirs. So, but they were, again, no problem to just come in, enjoy the game. And then when yeah. a lot, they were instigating all the songs the whole time. Every time they sang a song, yeah. everyone else. Then there was the drums behind us. It was a good yeah. atmosphere the whole time. Uh, you can't take drinks inside. I'd recommend taking some sweets and stuff. Uh, they said they were going to have donuts and stuff, but all they had was, was a few little crisps and... But you can't take drinks inside, so do bear that in mind. But they were not mega expensive, certainly not Premier League English yeah. football prices, certainly not. It was very reasonable for what we got. Yeah. But yeah, overall, fantastic. I'd definitely go again. I will look at going again. Let me know if you did enjoy it. Should we go and try and film more of those vlogs? Now I know where it is, try and do a bit of a few hours in Santa Cruz. Didn't quite work that way for us today. We got the tickets quite last minute, but normally I'd probably have liked to have gone up at you know, four or five o'clock, had some dinner somewhere, you know, moseyed on into the ground, but didn't quite work that way tonight. Uh, Made Up Incredible Wilsons came as well. I will leave the link to their channel in the description. They'll, they've done a little vlog on it as well if you want to watch theirs. Seb had a great time, bought the little flag as well, didn't he, which oh, was only yeah. 10 euros. So he's made up waving yeah. the flag around every yeah. year. Every time we all, every, every like two minutes, everyone was up. Yeah. Did... There's a few very, um, Spanish style tackles, shall we say? Naughty yeah. tackles. Yeah, did get feisty. I'll, I'll forget that goalkeeper for, for what he's oh, doing. Oh, yeah, that goalkeeper gave a little bit of a headbutt to one of ours. Yeah. Uh, but do let me know in the comments your thoughts on it. Uh, did you enjoy this style of vlog? Atmosphere was fantastic. If you went, I'm sure you did enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, there is loads of Tenerife content on here. There's live streams, there's restaurants, there's excursions, all kinds. So do check out the channel. Make sure you do subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. And uh, let's hope we get a victory in the second leg. Stride on. Bye, guys. Bye.